Magnesium occurs naturally only in combination with other elements. Elemental magnesium metal, shown here, is produced artificially. It is highly reactive and can burn with a characteristic brilliant white light, a useful property in the early days of flash photography. To measure the enthalpy of combustion in this highly exothermic reaction would typically require the use of a bomb calorimeter. In this lab we will determine the enthalpy changes of two other reactions and combined with the known enthalpy change of a third reaction, use Hess's law to determine the enthalpy change for the combustion of magnesium. Equation 1 is the combustion reaction of magnesium. Magnesium solid is reacted with oxygen gas to produce solid magnesium oxide. It is the same as the formation reaction of magnesium oxide. This is our target equation. For this lab, the materials we shall use are a 1 mole per liter solution of aqueous hydrogen chloride, magnesium oxide powder, magnesium ribbon, a simple calorimeter with a thermometer, a scupula, an electronic balance, sandpaper, and a 100 milliliter graduated cylinder. In part one of this lab, we shall determine the enthalpy change for reaction two. First, we shall place the empty calorimeter on the electronic balance and then zero the balance. Around 90 to 100 milliliters of aqueous hydrogen chloride is poured into the graduated cylinder and then added to the calorimeter. The mass of the solution inside the calorimeter is measured. Record this value in the data table. Note the temperature of this solution in the calorimeter. This is the initial temperature. Record this value in the data table. Place weighing paper on the electronic balance and zero the balance. Using the scupula, add between 0.5 and 0.6 grams of magnesium oxide to the paper. Record the exact mass in the data table. The magnesium oxide is added to the acid in the calorimeter. The solution is gently swirled to encourage the reaction. The temperature will be seen to change as the reaction progresses. We wait until the temperature stabilizes and the highest temperature reached is recorded as the final temperature in the data table. You now have all the information you need to calculate the enthalpy change for this reaction. In part two of this lab, we shall determine the enthalpy change for reaction three. The first few steps are as before. The empty calorimeter is placed on the electronic balance and we zero the balance. 90 to 100 milliliters of acid is added to the calorimeter and the mass is recorded in the data table. Along with the initial temperature. Magnesium is so reactive that time in air causes the formation of magnesium oxide on its surface. We use the sandpaper to remove these oxides so that when we measure the mass of the ribbon, only the magnesium is the mass that is recorded in the data table. Add the magnesium ribbon to the acid in the calorimeter. Again, the solution is gently swirled to encourage the reaction. As the reaction progresses, the temperature once again changes, and we wait until it stabilizes before recording the highest temperature as the final temperature in the data table. Once you calculate the enthalpy change for this reaction, you will be able to use Hess's law to combine all three thermochemical equations to determine the molar enthalpy of formation of magnesium oxide.